Hello. I just wanted to um, give a little update. So, um, yeah, Thanksgiving was um, a little disastrous. <laughs> it was just, uh, it was really hard. Um, we just had some really bad family drama. And, um, yeah, so it was hard. But we are, um, we're dealing with everything. And, um, yeah, so... <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> holidays are hard <sighs> anyway <laughs> so <clears throat> I got some like really fantastic news so unfortunately with us um, not receiving all of the military pay um, yet like there's some kinks that need to be worked out um, so Kyle's trying to take care of that on his end at um, basic training which is a slow process because he doesn't get a lot of time to do anything like that. Um, but um, anyways, because of that, um, the Salvation Army is helping us with Christmas for our kids. And they gave our information to AMVETS. And so they're helping us with Christmas for our kids. Because um, right now, with the pay that we are getting, I've only been able to cover bills. And even then, not all of them. Um, eventually, we will be able to do all of that and more. It's just a matter of working out the pay right now. Um, so don't worry about us. We're going to be okay. But, um, yeah, so AMVETS, they want to come um, on the day that Kyle gets home. Um, it's going to be like the day after because he gets he'll be getting in really late. And they have somebody who's going to dress as Santa come to the front door and bring all of the kids Christmas presents and Kyle is gonna hide outside with him in this like big box and um so it, it's just gonna be splendid it's gonna be so wonderful I'm like I'm so excited we only have now um 17 days until his graduation oh it's been a long time coming and I am like I'm so ready. I'm ready for him to be here because uh, it, it's hard. It's really hard being away from him and then having everything on my plate um, just all alone. So that's really rough. But there is this huge celebratory end in sight that I am just like so excited about now. Um, yeah, I, I mean, they AMVETS did not have to do this for us. These wonderful people are going out of their way to not only give my kids a special Christmas, but to like make it this huge, like magical experience for them. And um, I just, I've cried so many times just thinking about how grateful I am that there are people out there that do stuff like this. And I'm, I'm tearing up a little bit, but it's just, it's been a really hard year, and I am, uh, I'm so grateful, I'm so thankful, because when you don't have money to be able to get your kids presents, and then somebody, out of the goodness of their heart, is willing to come in and do that for you, like, as a parent, it, it means the world. I want everything for my kids and sometimes the best you can do is make sure they have a roof over their head food in their mouth you know lights on and everything um so that's what i've been able to provide but uh yeah it's it's a miracle like it's gonna be so magical and i'm i'm, I'm so excited <laughs> i'm so excited for them i feel like this is the best this is the best Christmas present gift ever. So I will give um, another update like as things get closer. But uh, yeah, so we have it's big news. It's huge news. And the kids have no idea. They have no idea. I'm like trying to be so sneaky about it. And it's so hard for me to keep an exciting secret to myself. But <laughs> 
So, I got to talk to Kyle on Thanksgiving. It was so nice. We had a long talk um, because they, they let the soldiers have their phone for quite a while. And he's doing really good. He's, uh, he's got a few pulled muscles, you know. He's tired. Um, but I am... I am so impressed with his just like mental fortitude to like push through and to keep going and um and not only that but he wants to finish on top he's holding like study groups he's going above and beyond he's not just doing the minimum and he has this goal of just like he wants to get noticed for doing well and he doesn't just want to get through it. I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of him. He's like, <laughs> I guess his nickname in the group is Dad. Which I thought was kind of funny. That's cute because he's such a dad. He's such a teacher. Um, but yeah, he's doing really good. And we are, we're doing good. I'm trying to, um, you know, get the house ready for Christmas and for Daddy coming home. I know it's a little premature, but <laughs> it's one way that I can, like, I don't know, getting the house clean to me feels like a little celebration in preparing for him coming home, if that makes sense. But, yeah, so, um, I also, I enrolled the kids in virtual school because I, I've been struggling so much, so... The 1st of December is their first day in virtual school. And today I have meetings with each of their uh, new teachers. So, wish me luck. I'm not, I'm not, like, I've said this before, I'm not techie. I really wish I was. And I'm going to give it my all. I'm going to try to be techie. Um, but I just feel so disorganized. And I, I don't really know where to begin. I've gotten, they gave me a whole bunch of like uh, materials and stuff. And I'm like, uh, where do I start? So last night I was awake until like almost one in the morning trying to go over stuff and figure things out. And I feel a little more lost than I did when I started. But I know eventually I'll get the hang of it. And if I... Uh, if I seem like I'm struggling, it's probably because I am, and I'll definitely be reaching out for advice from people, because I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, um, there's my little but long update. Um, yeah, like I said, I'll be getting back to everybody, um, hopefully in a few days when I have more time. <sighs> Thank you so much for your support, everyone, and just know that our family is, uh, we're doing okay, and we're praying for everybody, and thank you. Thank you again for your support. <laughs>